if you guys can hear me now, I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, so, I've had some trouble with this thing right here. I hope you can see me. Yeah, it looks like you can see me. So, this thing right here is... We'll go here. Because that's where we need to go to start this. So, this is a tutorial on how to add your PSN account with your computer account. Uh, so, right here you see Windixie 2.0. Uh, I accidentally added my PSN account to this one and blah blah blah. That's a story for another time, but anyways. So, if you look it up online, it takes you here, and then you look up, uh, and this is not sponsored, by the way. It's just something that I wanted to do because I had such a hard time with it. It tells you to go right up here if you're signed out. I'll sign out real quick since I can... Well, no, I won't sign out. So, it tells you to go to this thing right here. It won't be lit up like this, and it won't have a name or anything. It'll have, like, a hollow little dot right there, a circle... And it'll say, hover your mouse over it, and go down to PlayStation. And if you already have an account, this is only for the people that have already got an account on here. Like the Winn-Dixie, the one I have. If you go up here, and you go to your account. And you go to connected accounts. This is what it's going to bring you up to. And the thing I figured out with this is if you've already got an account, you just go to here to, you again, you go to account, you have your mouse over this, go to account, go down to connected accounts, and connect any of these three. For me, it was my PlayStation Network account, and it was a little bit harder to get that on rather than, you know, connected and, and the way they were telling me, because it was a little bit more confusing and I had a difficult time with it. I also connected my Twitch account, so hey, go, go follow my Twitch. But, um, that, that's what you need to know, and this is just like a short video, I'll just show you again, like, when, when you... Log on to this. You're gonna go to the Fortnite website, not not the Epic Games website. The Fortnite website. You'll if you don't know how to get there, as soon as you go to EpicGames.com, you go down here, you go down to Fortnite, and you press that, and it'll bring you up to the Fortnite website, and it'll bring this up, and it'll have this little thing over here, this little dude right here, or person, and it'll say hover your mouse over, go down to PlayStation Network. Do not do that if you already have a account on Epic Games. If you've already ha you have an account on Epic Games and you have all the other stuff on Epic Games, do not do that. I will repeat one more time. Do not do that. Because that's going to make you an entirely new account. That's going to hook your PlayStation Network account to an entirely different account and you're not going to get whatever you got on there already. You want to log into your actual Epic Games account on Fortnite, go down to your account, and then go down to connected accounts and connect whichever one of these you want. So that goes for Xbox, that goes for Twitch, that goes for PlayStation Network, anything. You need to connect those. But don't, you know, follow their FAQ if you already have an account. Otherwise, if you do not have an account on Epic Games or do not have the Epic Games launcher downloaded along with Fortnite, then do do what they're telling you to do on the FAQ. Otherwise, do not do that. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Have a good morning, noon, and night, depending on where you are. And I will see you all.